What's poppin' guys? We are back on Pokemon Showdown for a live in the OU tier. It has been quite some time since the last solo live that we've done, um, you know, in the OU tier, of course. Uh, mainly, of course, because of GBA and how much I had to prep and test and all that kind of stuff. But now that that's basically around the corner of being done and, um, you know, there's a week break that we have. I figured that, you know, I'd substitute that, any kind of GBA upload for some showdown. And, uh, you know, get back into bringing some heat mons into the tier. We have uh, Caracosta in this live and I figured that I'd use it since last time I used it in OU has been black and white and I've wanted to bring it back. So um, here we go. Let's get right into it. And um, as you can see, we have Caracosta with uh, Shell Smash 3 attacks. It's um it's really cool. Like it's not that fast, especially after Shell Smash. It's really not that fast with base 32. But with Aqua Jet, having priority can be very very useful in picking things off or just doing some decent damage after Shell Smash with that base 108 attack. And um, with Liquidation, now that it gets a lot of Water types get Liquidation now after um, Ultra Sun and Moon. So this is one of the ones that gets it, and it hits extremely hard. Um, f the five extra base power that it gets makes all the difference from Waterfall. It can do a lot more damage. Stone Edge, of course, hitting any kind of flying type Pokemon or anything like that. It is really, really strong, especially after Shell Smash. And Solid Rock can be useful for um, living hits, I guess, from certain super effective attacks, like maybe Super Power, Earthquake. Like, it has a good base 133 defense, which is really powerful in terms of living things and um yeah so solid rock can help on especially on the physical side of living attacks white herb negating any kind of stat drop from shell smash on the first time using it so i built around it the first two pokemon that i thought of that came to mind with caracosta were tornadus and magnezone torrenty and magnezone because uh torn being a great great answer to grass types that caracosta does not like like for instance um tangrowth superior celebi anything like that while magnezone can help um, break things like Ferrothorn, Scizor, trap them and just knock them out. It's sub 3 attacks with Steelium Z, so that can be pretty pretty cool, I guess, versus certain sets, while Torn is an AV set, so that can be nice to sponge hits from special grass types. Um, so that's cool. Next three Pokemon we got are Mamoswine, a Tapu Koko, and a Superior. So I have Rocks, I needed Rocks, and a Ground type, so I had Mamoswine. Really cool Mon, um, Oblivious being immune to Taunt and anything like that, while Having Focus Ash so that we can guarantee set up Stealth Rocks, Endeavor so that we can, um, you know, just live with our Sash, knock things down to 1 HP, Ice Shard it, Adam in Nature because we are Sash plus Ice Shard. Um, we also have Tapu Koko, which is, actually should be Toy Scarfed. Forgot about that. Change that, because I was uh, experimenting with Z-Move Koko and Scarf Magnezone, then I switched around to um, Steelium, Z-Move, Magnezone, and Scarf Koko. So... We have uh, Tapu Koko with the uh, Wild Charge, Brave Bird, U-Turn, Volt Switch, so that's nice. Standard Scarf Koko and uh, Superior for Defog, which um, is great because it can uh, it can do really well in terms of getting rid of hazards. Gives us a water sponge kind of, uh, being uh, pretty good at sponging water attacks with our base 95 defense and spadef and glare to par uh, paralyze things while it's just a basic Superior. can do what it does best with Contrary. Let's find a game and see how we do. Hopefully, you know, I, I think I'm pretty sure I've decayed a bunch, but I don't think we're too low. So let's find a game and see how we do, and we'll be right back. All right, so our first game up against uh, some nice Tapu Koko squad. So we can probably just lead Mamoswine here, I'm thinking, because setting up rocks is nice. His Defogger is potentially one of these three, Lando, Koko, or Scizor. So I'm just going to set up rocks here. He goes right for the U-turn. Okay. Not bad, not bad. So, it doesn't matter what he goes into. Like, at this point, we are pretty much in a great position with rocks on his side. I don't think Coco has a defog. I'm pretty sure the defogger is going to be Scizor. Judging by that damage, it's like a very bulky Scizor. So, I think this one has defog for sure. I mean, we have to watch out for the Halucha, I think. That is uh, a pretty big threat, but I think we can deal with it. We got uh, we got two, a couple of electric types here and there. He goes into Landris, so I'm just going to, um, I'm going to go Torn here, I think, is my play. As he actually doubles right back into Scizor, which is nice because I can now Heat Wave. I kind of expected him to switch up uh, and kind of bait the Ice Shard. Kind of just bait the Ice Shard here. He actually goes Toxapex, so that is fine. I think I'm free to just knock this thing off, get rid of his Black Sludge as he goes for a Toxic. Um, I'm fine with that. I can just click Hurricane here. 
As he goes back into Scizor, we confuse this thing, and this thing is basically gone. I mean, he switches right back. I mean, I'm fine with that. I can just U-turn into Tapu Koko. And we can just U-turn. Oh, sorry. Yeah, just U-turn out here. Not Volt Switch because he still has his ground type. So I'm going to U-turn here. As he goes, yep, in, indeed into Landorus. Um, and now we can just go into Mamoswine. And uh, I'm going to just make a hard play in Earthquake. Yep, and it's go Scizor. Get rid of this thing. Very nice, very nice. So we're making some good plays. We're making some pretty solid plays here. Predicting his uh, maneuvers. So Scizor is actually gone, which is amazing, amazing for us. I'm just going to Ice Shard. He goes Pex. Okay, so um, I think here I can just go Magnezone. I don't see a reason not to. He can intimidate me as much as he wants. He actually goes for Scald. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna sub here. I am definitely gonna sub here. I think sub is an excellent play. As he goes Landorus, I can now just Corkscrew Crash and knock this thing out. Um, if he wants to Earthquake, it's fine. We're actually faster than him too, which is amazing, amazing. Very nice. So we do knock out Landorus here. Um, that's awesome. So he's gonna go into Tapu Koko. I'm just going to T-Bolt. Volt Switch, of course, breaks my thing, but he's gonna be taking a neutral T-Bolt in Electric Terrain. So he's not gonna take it too well at all. Not going to take it too well at all. I hope that I can get a uh, Shell Smash off with this thing. I'm going to try. So yeah, so we got some good damage off on this thing. Um, now I'm just going to T-Bolt again. And we're actually faster than him right there. I kind of had a feeling because he was leftovers and he kind of ate that up pretty well. Especially since we're modest in Electric Terrain. So he goes back into Coco. I'm going to go into Mamoswine here. I'm not sure what he wants to do. He goes for Volt Switch. Yep, yep, yep. Very nice. Um, I'm going to just click uh, Ice Shard. I kind of expected him to want to go Halucha, but like I'll I'll just Earthquake here. Okay, yeah, he goes Pex. Nice. So he's tacking this thing off. And um, yeah, that's gone. So it's looking alright for us, I think. He goes back into Coco, so gets back his terrain. I'm gonna sack Magnezone here. I'm not gonna go for the 6 though. I think my better play is to sack Magnezone. And then go into uh, and, like try to stall out his terrain, I guess. Is he Choice Scarf is the question that I have. I'm going to go Caracosta and find out if he is Choice Scarfed. I kind of think he's Choice Scarfed. Yeah, I think so. So we can just Shell Smash up here. Go right for the Liquidation. Yeah, this is a, this is a we're in a really good position right now, I think. Liquidation this. And we get a crit. Does not matter because Liquidation plus Jet will knock him out. GG. Alright, so let's grab another game and uh, we'll be right back. All right, so we got our next game up against uh, some sand. Some nice classic, looking like some nice classic sand. Mamoswine lead, of course, being the right move because we can set up rocks. We can endeavor. We can endeavor his team. Mamoswine not taking any sand damage, so our focus sash is much, much appreciated. Um, he does have tentacruel, so I'm just going to quake this thing, actually. I'd probably rather just quake this thing rather than set up rocks. Yeah, and just get rid of it. So we can now set up rocks on this next turn, basically. I mean, I, maybe I want to defog these T-Spikes away first, but we'll see. We will see. If he, like, goes superior or something, I could probably just Endeavor plus Ice Shard. If he goes anything except Mamoswine, I think I could just Endeavor. Or Earthquake. Or Earthquake. His team is really Mamoswine weak. Yeah, he goes Serp. So I'm going to Endeavor. I think is the right play. I, I'm pretty sure. Could just ice shard here too. I'm gonna ice shard actually. It should be a two hit KO. Yeah, it is a indeed a two hit KO. I could make a play in endeavor here actually. I'm gonna do that. Yeah, nice. <laughs> How did I know? How did I know? I'm going to make a play. Endeavor got the Charizard. Now I can Ice Shard this for free. And he's basically lost two Mons right there. To a lead Mamoswine. Lead Mamoswine is actually so good. In um, any in any kind of format, I guess. Very nice. I don't know why he left his Charizard. I didn't even set up rocks either. Like I wanted to set up rocks, but I just decided to attack things in front of me. That's crazy. I'm going to Ice Shard again. I don't need rocks, actually. This is perfect. Absolutely phenomenally perfect.
good damage, good damage. He U-turns out here, I'm not sure into what. Doesn't matter what he goes into actually at this point. Uh, I'm thinking this is Scarf Hydreigon, so he actually goes hip Hippo, so I'm gonna go into Serp, Superior, click that Glare. Could also, I think I'll just Defog here actually, I'm gonna Defog. Defog is the better play so that I can get rid of my Hazards. Cause those ain't nice. Defog again. I don't think he'll I don't think he'll click rocks again. Oh okay. Okay, you want those rocks up? I will let you have them. I will let you have these rocks. I mean I only have one T spike on me, so that's fine. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Good damage on this drill. Good damage. Um, I think I can. I think I can sweep him with uh, Caracosta. Maybe I'm gonna try. I'm gonna go uh, torn here. Sack this thing off, because I think keeping uh, keeping Serp is good for Hippo. Definitely. He's life orb, so I think we gotta play around this thing. I'm gonna go uh, Caracosta. Hit him with a jet. I think we can win this game. I think we can. Yeah, basically what we gotta do, right, is just jet this thing. He'll probably have to go into Hydreigon. He'll be forced to Hydreigon, I think. And um, in which case, we can probably just Liquidation plus Jet. Or Stone Edge plus Jet. I think Stone Edge is the play. Draco does a lot. I, I mean, this is definitely Scarf, I think. And um, yeah, now Hippo comes out here. We're faster than that with Liquidation. So, was, I mean, Karakas is getting some work in, even though we don't Shell Smash. Yeah, he, he left. So, good game. On to the next one, and we'll be right back. Alright, so we got our next game up against some 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 powerful looking squad here some nice power um he has tapu lele which is a bit annoying but i think karakasta can put in some work at least we'll see if we can make it happen we'll definitely see if we can make it happen karakasta has been at least getting a couple knockouts each game i think so so far in the first two that we had so let's let's see if we can uh put in work in this one yeah he does lead off with tapu lele i'm just gonna endeavor here and um, and go Tornadus. A little bit more than I thought. I thought I could eat that because I was AV, but I guess not. I'll go into this guy, go right for the U-turn. Nice, nice, nice. And um, I think here I go into Serp. Definitely, definitely. So the good thing about Magnezone is that we can actually trap the Mawile with it, which is really good. Definitely what I want to do. I'm going to go into Mamoswine. He goes right for the Gunk Shot, so he is indeed. Indeed. I think he's Choice Scarf. I'm pretty sure he's Choice Scarf, so I'm going to go into Mag. And then just click Sub. <laughs> okay. Not bad, not bad. He got me, he got me. He got me there. Technotic. I don't even. I didn't even remember that was a set. So I think I basically just win now. <laughs> I think I just win. Toxapex. I can just Stone Edge here. Hopefully we get like a nice super massive crit. Don't even need it. Nice. Zygarde comes out. We get liquidation. This. Decent damage. Um, and then we just go superior, Leaf Storm up, and we miss, and he misses too. Let's see if we can dodge a gunk shot here too. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can glare this thing. It does knock us out, indeed. We go into Coco, we click Wild Charge. I think I could have won if I was a um, special Mawile, a special Coco actually. Do we win? No, we don't. Oh, ooh, I think we just win. 
Nice. I got lucky. I got I got lucky in this game. I didn't know about uh I forgot about Z Dig Greninja. Uh sad face. Yeah, yeah, I got I got lucky here, but I mean it happens. I, I, some, it's gotta happen to somebody. We'll be right back. Alright, so we got our next game up against Sticky Web Araquanid. Sticky Web Araquanid. Nice. So, what do I do? What do I do? I think I just lead Memo. Like, rocks are amazing versus him. I think that's what I do. And I just Earthquake and I Endeavor. Get this thing nice and low. And, um,. If I'm not mistaken, I think I just go Serp, get a plus one speed and Leaf Storm everything. And Quick Attack shouldn't knock me out from Pinsir, so I think I do Oko it back with HP Fire here. I don't know what he'll go into. He goes Dragonite. Okay, I mean that's kind of what I expected too. So... What do I do? I think I... Um, I think I go Caracosta. That did a ton. Okay, he's Z Outrage. Um, I go Torn. I click Hurricane. Goes for Ice Punch. Does not knock me out. I can just uh, Hurricane again, I think. And Heat Wave here. Get some nice damage off of this thing. Goes into his drill. Okay, I can go Serp. And Leaf Storm here. Yeah, I think uh, it's looking pretty good now. It's looking pretty good for us. Goes Mimikyu. I think I should, uh, I think I should defog. I'm, I'm gonna Leaf Storm first. He gets a crit on Shadow Claw. Uh, that's really annoying. That's actually really annoying because like now I don't get a defog off. I could have gotten a defog. But now I don't. Whatever. Um, I think we can still win this though. Let's see. Magnazone's at 16. Actually, we could we could still win this, I think. We're scarfed. We are indeed scarfed. I think we do win. Yep, we won. <laughs> Shout out to Scarf Tapu Koko, saving the day as usual. Goes D Knight and we just win this game. Yep, GG. GG. Not bad. Alright, on to the next one. We'll be right back. Alright, so we got our next game here up against a Hoopa Unbound squad. Not bad, not bad. Um, we just lead off Mammoth Swine as usual. Like, setting up rocks is pretty good. His only defogger is probably going to be Scizor. I think his Scizor is the defogger. He lead, he does lead Lander though, so I'm going to set up rocks. And if he wants to get up rocks, he'll probably have to defog at some point. Um, here, I think going Serp is the play. I think I, I like Serp here. And then doubling to Mammoth, expecting him to go uh, Heatran. Yep. Nice, nice, nice. Going to click uh, Earthquake. Hit up, hit up that Gastrodon for some full damage. That's a 2 at KO. Not bad. He goes Lando, so I'm just going to Ice Shard here, I think. Or... I'm going to make a play and go to Tornadus. Expecting... Um, okay, he goes Gastro. I think uh, Hurricane should knock him out, I think. I hope. Oh, nice. Wonderful. Amazing. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Alright, let's see you turn out here. Going to Serp. And um, double the memo. Okay. Double the memo again. Yep, there we go. There we go. Not bad, not bad. Now we earthquake. <laughs> there we go. Goodbye, Heechan, and hello to Superior. Click in Leaf Storm. All right, Hoopa Unbound comes out here. I think Memo finds a problem for him. That's why he went into this thing. So I'm going to just earthquake here. I'm Sash, so we can knock this threat out of the way. Didn't really have much to switch into it anyways. I'm pretty sure he was probably Bandit or, I don't know, Scarf or something. Uh, I'm going to go here into Magnezone. 
he U-turns out. Good play, good play. Solid play. Decent, decent play. Um, and I go Torn here, I think. As he U-turns out again. Okay. Um. Coco. Hidden power. Nice, nice, beautiful. He was pretty. He was predicting my uh, Mammoth Swine, I think. I'll U turn here and then go Mammoth Swine now, I think. He, oh, he just roosts. Okay, okay. I feel you, bro. I feel you. I gotta outplay this thing somehow. Wild charge this for some damage. And um, now go into Magnet Zone, I think, is what we do. He just stays in. <laughs> okay, what? Yeah, now he's in the uh, Ice Shard range, Aqua Jet range, all kinds of different ranges. And he's trapped. This man literally just trapped himself. Hey, thank you, bro. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate. Appreciate. Nice. Um, let's go into Torn. It goes Coco, okay. I just used her out here. Predicting uh, Roost, of course. And um, go to Mag. And just flash cannon here, I think. He just sacks. Perfect. Uh, Gastron's at 94, but like it's not a problem because we do have uh, Superior. Not a problem at all. Uh, he goes Lando. I'm going to just stain and corkscrew crash this thing. Let him earthquake me. I don't care. Um, now we go Mammoth Swine. We just Ice Shard here. Um, Gastrodon should get knocked out too. Actually, no, it doesn't, but like now it does. <laughs> now we just Endeavor. And we go Caracosta. Oh, shoot. He left. Never mind. I was going to finish it off with Caracosta, but unfortunately I could not. But our next game will hopefully do that, so we'll be right back. Okay, so we got our next game up against uh, some nice. Some nice Keldeo squad. I like Keldeo. I like Keldeo. Give him that. Um, Mammoth Swine, I think, is still a fine lead. As we just set up rocks either way, like he's not he's not staying in um, for sure. And uh, we just endeavor here on his Sacred Sword, which is most likely coming out here, predicting maybe on my Superior Hydro. Okay, that's the same thing. Um, and I just I shard here, or I endeavor again and make the play. But no, I'm going to Ice Shard. I, I, I think he's going to stay in. Like, there's no way he's going to stack something else now. We go Zapdos and let's and just let's his Defogger die. <laughs> That's an even better play. Good lord. I, I definitely missed the ladder. <laughs> I definitely missed the ladder. Um, he goes Kartana. So I, I'm now, like, I'm thinking we just go Coco because it's the mid-ground play of a Secret Sword coming out. Which is very likely. And he goes knockoff. Okay, so he knocks off my choice scarf. Which is fine. Like, that's not a problem. I'm just going to U-turn out here. This goes Keldeo. Sacks it off. Kind of what I expected. Uh, he goes Magir now. So I'm going to wild charge here now. Because it's going to be an easy to a KO. On this thing. Ice Beam does not knock us out. And I can probably just... Oh, I'm frozen. No. Man. <sighs> I don't want him setting up or anything, so I'm gonna go mag. Vol switch is out. Cool, 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 cool. Cool, cool, cool. Phenomenal. So he'll likely just go into Lando T. Like I don't I don't think he'd want to go Zard, but he might. Or Katana, okay. Um, so I guess I sack Coco. Yep. And uh, and just go Torn. Torn actually puts in a lot of work here too because it can just do a lot of work. <laughs> it just does a lot of work. What can I say? Magirna. I mean, he's AV, but like, he won't knock us out either. Flare Cannon. Ooh, actually, this is pretty good. This is actually pretty good. Hold on, watch this. Watch this play. Watch this play. I'm gonna go Mammoth Swine. And now we go Caracosta. And we shell smash. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to win with Caracosta here. So I got to do what I got to do. You know, you, you feel me? I got to do what I got to do. White Herb activate. Vol switch. Easy live. Easy live. Lando T comes out here. Liquidation. Knock it out. And we win. 
Caracosta, sweeping the last three, the last half of his team. That should be game, I think. Yeah, we're we're faster. Than, are we faster than this? Should, yeah, we are. We are. We are. Nice. We're getting a little worried there. GG. Let's grab another game. We will be right back. All right, we got our next game up against some chancy offense. Looking like some X and Y type build. Nothing really too. Uh, nothing really too worrisome, I guess. Um, I think I just lead off here with uh, Memeswan. He does lead Medicham. Perfectly fine. I think I just uh, I go Coco on the fake out, and then I um, U turn out here. Uh, predicting like Landers to come out or something. Chansey even better. Nice. Um, I just go here into um, just Mammoth Swine is fine and Stealth rocks it up. His Defogger is going to be Rotom Wash, of course. Uh, toxic, okay. Perfect. I'm going to go Serp so that he'll be pressured not to go into Rotom. And uh, he does go right into it. So, I mean, he'll be pressured once he goes into Rotom, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, we just leave Storm now. And that should do a decent number to his team. Yeah, like Chansey comes out here, right? We just leave Storm again. Now I kind of wish I was like sub on this thing. But I, I had to put Defog on this team somewhere. I wasn't sure where. Seismic Toss, nice. He was probably predicting sub too. So that's a, that's a good way of kind of baiting, um, baiting the uh, attack. Because he'll expect me to be sub seed. But yeah, now he's in a bit of a predicament. Unless he's got a choice guard for somewhere. I think we kind of just win. Like, this Lando looking like uh, Stealth Rocks. And, um... Yeah, like, what he has to do is fake out, switch... Fake out, switch, Sucker Punch or something. Yeah, like, that's what like exactly what he has to do. That's exactly what he has to do. It goes Volcarona. This thing is gone, basically. Nice. I'm liking how every member of the team is, has been putting in some good work on, on this live. And like the leftovers is healing us up a lot too. I'm gonna glare here, predicting sucker punch. He didn't even go for it. Dang, I could have actually just won. But guess what? Pokemon number two coming out to put in the work. He can't switch either. Let's get a para. Yep. <laughs> he went for sucker. <laughs> not bad, not bad. Uh, I think t bolt probably does more, but I'm just HP fire anyways. Because damage is damage. Yep. Nice. Um, I gotta get that thing right. Yeah, he didn't even go for sucker either. Did not even go for the sucker. That is actually really good because now we're behind a sub. And, um, yeah, he's not gonna appreciate this corkscrew crash. That is for sure. I wonder if we're gonna be faster than this thing. We might be, actually, because he is, I think, rocks. But yeah, like, there's no way we can lose this game now. There's no way. Yeah, Lando's gone. Um, last two, Medicham plus Rotom Wash. Yeah, Medicham comes out. We will just sack off... Um, I think we'll just sack off Mamoswine here. Go into Tapu Koko. Volt Switch. Pretty sure Wild Charge can just take him out anyways, too. No, but I think my better play is just clicking, um, yeah, just Volt Switching here. Into, uh, Magnezone. T-Bolt. Which, I think we're faster than him if he's defensive. Which he is, I think. I, I mean, I could've just won with Serp. 
regardless, but <laughs> what's the fun in that? We gotta use some of our other Pokemon too. Let's give him a fighting chance. But that is gonna be GG. And on to the next one, and we'll be right back. Alright, so our next game up against a Tapu Koko squad, Chansey offense looking like um, we can just lead off Mamoswine because getting up rocks really useful. I mean, he's Defogger, Mega Scizor probably, but we can trap it, we can bait it, we can do all kinds of things to Mega Scizor so that it will not want to be alive anymore. Uh, I'm going to start a timer. So let's see what we do here. Let's see what we do. Coco, okay, nice. Let's get up rocks. He can't taunt us or anything because we are oblivious to the fact that he can't do anything. Grass knot, that's pretty interesting actually. Um, I'm gonna go into uh I wanna go to Torn because he's not gonna Volt Switch here. And Heat Wave. He went into Scizor, I guess, predicting Ice Shard or something. What if I clicked Endeavor? Like that would have been that would have been so clean. Uh, I'm gonna knock off here now. Get rid of whatever item he has, which is leftovers. Earth powers. Okay, not bad. Trying to predict my, uh, I don't know. <laughs> He's trying to predict something. Go Mammoth Swine. He does click Magma Storm indeed. So, I think now we do go Caracosta. Just straight up liquidation. I could also just Shell Smash here. I think that's another decent play. So I'm going to do that. We do live in Earth Power, guaranteed. I don't know if he'd want to switch out. Maybe. He might. But we are going to be in a pretty decent position. Should he decide to switch out or do anything but Earth Power? Yeah, nice. <laughs> That's actually amazing. Because now we just liquidation this thing for a good chunk of damage. Bullet punches. Okay, cool. I can just shell smash up again and be guaranteed faster than his Tapu Koko. Um, and yeah, we would just Aqua Jet here. Which should knock this thing out. So as long as this is not Choice Scarf Coco, we can outrun it right now. And he does go Coco, so I'm going to just Liquidation. Pray that he's not Choice Scarfed. Yeah, he switches out. Nice. So he's definitely not choice scarf. <laughs> that, that is for sure. That is for sure. Goes Halucha, so I mean I know for a fact he will be faster than me. So I think my play is to Aqua Jet. Acrobatics? Why would he what? Why didn't he high jump kick? That's crazy. Now I can actually knock him out potentially if I get the right roll. Depending on if this is a roll or not. Yep, nice. And that should be game. So we got a good sweep with Caracosta. Liquidation this. I mean, well, almost almost sweep, basically. Just securing us the game here, pretty much. So um, now we go Coco. We just wild charge. Yeah, everything should get weakened or knocked out, I think, at this point. Coco comes out here, getting up the train for me. I appreciate it. I do want to save this thing though, so I am going to sack off my Torn. Thunderbolts, perfectly fine. I can go into my Magnezone. T-Bolt myself. That is a lot. This is choice specced as anything. Yeah, but now we just go into um, Coco and Wild Charge. So we do have an extra turn of terrain left. Yeah, and we, and we should be able to knock this out here. Almost. Serp can take it out, though, with a Leaf Storm, I think. From this range, I think 6%. Yeah, definitely. Could it not matter? <laughs> GG. All right, on to the next one. We'll be right back. All right, we got our next game up against a very interesting team, Mega Manectric. Plus Coco with Halucha, Donphan, I like to see Entei, 
Some some he's got some some heat on his team. I like it. I like it. We lead Mammo. We get up our rocks. He's switching out 100%. 110% actually he's switching out. I'm calling it right here. So I'm really liking how this team is putting in work, especially Caracosta actually doing some some decent damage. Some decent damage. I go Serp here. And just straight up Leaf Storm something uh, for a good amount of health. And Aqua Jet actually picks off a lot of his team. It's not going to be faster with Shell Smash, but it'll do some work. Um, yeah, we get off another Leaf Storm here for sure. I guess he could Ice Shard, so he does. And um, we're still at a decent amount of health. We can just probably switch out, I guess. Uh, actually, no. Like, Superior is not even that useful anymore because we got rid of Don Fan. Everything else is kind of faster or just good. But I, I guess he went Coco. I don't know why he went Coco unless he has. Yeah, he's going to knock us out. So he, I think he's physical Coco. Pretty sure he's physical. Judging by the damage that that U turn did. So I think he's definitely a uh, physical Coco. Either. I don't know if he's the same set as me, but I'm thinking he's Z move. He's. Yeah, very, very more than likely Z move. He goes Menectric, so we go Mamoswine. Just. Uh, I think just set up rocks again. Yep. Clean, clean, clean. So. Endeavor's the play, I think. Uh, and now we just Ice Shard. Repeatedly. No holding back. I should have just Ice Sharded the first time, actually. Because then we would have knocked it out, guaranteed. But I thought he, like, just straight up high jump kick. But either way, Karakasa knocks him out here. And we got uh, Magnezone, which I think should deal decently well with Manectric if he does not have Overheat. We Like, we live a Flamethrower 100%. Like, the good thing about Caracosta is it, it can actually set up over Entei. So that could be our... Hello? Why? Does he... Don't tell me he has Solar Beam. He's just gonna go for Burns. And he actually gets it too. That's crazy, man. Like, why? <laughs> why not just go into your Coco or your Manectric? Like, there's that does not make any sense. I could've... I literally just won the game there, basically, but... If he didn't get the Burn, that is. Actually, I, I could probably still win soon. I know what he's doing. Because now I get off two massive hits on something. And he sacked off his uh, Entei, which is actually really good for us. Really, really good for us. Because now Magnuson has one less rival. I'll just Stone Edge here. I don't know if he has Shuriken. Yeah, he does. Shuriken, man. Yeah, now we just U-turn uh, out. Clean U-turn. As he goes Coco, we go into Magnazone, and we click um, Corkscrew. Because I don't think anything wants to switch into... Uh, I, I, nothing like on his team wants to switch into Corkscrew Crash. Especially this Coco. Z moves. I don't think it knocks us out. Does it? Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Very good. I think we can win this game. I think we can. He goes Manectric, so he'll likely just uh, T-Bolt. Yep, and uh, we just go into Coco. I think we just U-turn out the first time. I think, or Wild Charge could work too. I think we just Wild Charge is a two-hit KO. Yeah, yeah, this should win us the game here. I think. Grenza eighty-eight. 
So he has to be locked into uh, Shuriken, I think. Yeah, he has to lock himself into Shuriken. So I think we can win this game. Definitely can. It's very doable. Because we are AV uh, torn. Yeah, so now we just go to Torn. U turn should be a 2 hit KO. And we just gotta live uh, two shurikens, I think. Yeah, as long as. Uh, yeah, yeah, we win. As long as he doesn't get like three crits or something. One, two. Yeah, nice. Three. And we win this game. Very clean, very clean. Let's grab one more for this live. I think we were really showcasing the mons really well in this uh, on this team. So let's get one more and we'll be right back. Okay, so our last game is going to be up against a very powerful looking team. Very, very powerful team. Hmm. Megalopony is a very big threat. Instead of leading Memo, I think I want to lead... Yeah, I think I want to lead Memo. And go Coco, predicting um, fake out. I think that's the play. And um, yeah, we just U-turned out here. Goes into Landris. Go right back into Mammo and set up these rocks. Get these rocks up, keep them up. We know what we're doing out here. I kind of want him to just go into uh, Keldeo, which he does do, indeed. Now we just uh, Endeavor. Straight up Endeavor here. Um, instead of Ice Sharding, I kind of want to Endeavor again. But he doesn't have any... I don't think he has Hazard Control. So I'm going to Ice Shard. <laughs> I should have Endeavored again. But um, it's all good. Power of Punch is here. Now I'm going to Wild Charge. He's going to want to stay in, I think. I think. Yep. Goodbye, Lopani. Choice Scarf Coco is like such a great uh, Pokemon. I'm gonna endeavor in the, on this uh, Landers here. Yeah, good sack, good sack. I mean, that's kind of what he had to sack. Uh, Lele comes out. I'll just sack this thing. He psychics, which means I go into. Um, I think I just go into Coco. You turn out. I mean, he'll go into, what, Landorus, I think? Yep. And uh, we go into our Superior, I think, is what we do. And we just leave Storm here. I mean, Defog is another option, but like I don't think we need to. I really don't think we need to. We just try to get as much damage as we can. He just U-turns out here. And um, yeah, he'll, he'll likely go into Lele, which is going to be Choice Scarfed. But we did get off some good chip on that Landorus. Really good chip. So yeah, he does knock us out here. And um, we go right back into Coco. 15%, so we can only switch back in 14.2. We can only switch back in once more. So I'm going to U-turn out here. Yeah, and we go um, Caracosta, I think. Yeah, and just Aqua Jet here. Yeah, knock out this thing. Okay, that's good. That's, that's actually really good. So... He's kind of forced to go back into Lele, yeah. And I think we can, I think we can live one. I'm not sure how. Uh, yeah, we <laughs> Spadef is really bad. The Spadef is really bad on this on this guy. Okay, so we keep Coco. We don't go to Coco right now. I don't think we go Coco at all right now. We go Magna Zone here and we flash cannon because he's locked in. So what's a Zemon? I think it could be. Um, could be the Celestila. Is this uh I don't know what T Tar set that is either. I'm gonna I'm just gonna T bolt here. Yep. That is a decent amount. Flamethrower does knock us out. We go uh, a torn here, I think. Heat wave. As long as this is not like D Dance T Tar or something, I think we just win. 
Um, what's the play? I think the play is just knocking off whatever item he has. Yeah, he's banded, so we just uh, hurricane here. And we miss. I think that might be crucial, actually. That might be really crucial. Ooh, wild charge. Knock him out, please. Pretty sure, like, the hurricane. Yeah, that might have been. Ah, eh, maybe not. No, we lost the game. We lost the game. We got to get one more so that we can actually win. So we'll be right back. All right, so our last game up against a Victini squad with Hoopa Unbound and Coco. I like it. Nice GBA core right there. Uh, let me lead off with Mammoth Swine as we just set up rocks. And his team will fall. This is probably a Z Celebrate Victini, actually. So something we got to watch out for. Knockoff. He is... Looking to be choice scarfed, I think. I'm, a, I'm gonna go uh, tornadoes actually. Yeah, nice. We can knock off as a violet, which is gonna be pretty ne uh, pretty neat for us. Get rid of the things that violet. Uh, he sets up rocks, so I think I just want to um, you turn out here. Into Caracosta. He goes for the wish. I think I just shell smash up here. Actually, do I? Do I even do that? I think I do. And um, preserve and protect the Caracosta. The kill definitely lives, so I think it's the play. Even though we did lose our. Uh, White Herb, I think it's fun. Because now we basically just get off an Earthquake. Why did he go back to this? No, I did not want that. I did not want that at all. Kieran Black comes out. Let me just sack here. Can we go Torn? Maybe? Am you just going to Ice Beam? Earth power, okay, okay, clean. Get some damage off. I'm gonna save Mammoth Swine for a, a nice sack later off. Hurricane, I think, should do a decent amount to this thing. And he should not knock us out with Ice Beam, I think. He could be Scarfed as well. Intimidates us. Um, yeah, nice. I don't know if he's scarfed or not, actually. He is indeed scarfed. But we did get rid of his uh, tor uh, his Landorus, which is a scarfer. So that's actually really good for us. Um, He goes Coco, so this thing is going to get weakened as well. Now we sack off Mammoth Swine. Now we sack it off. In doing so, we can probably go um, Superior and just leave Storm. I think keeping rocks are great because it does weaken him more than it weakens us. So that's pretty good. Volt switch. So he is not locked in. Good information. Chansey is at 62. Does not gonna is not gonna appreciate this at all. Oh, okay. Well, we missed. That's actually so bad. Come on. That, that's actually really bad. Yeah, we, I think we would have knocked him out. Pretty sure. Maybe. Maybe not. But he's scarfed. Confirmed. And actually, hold on just a second here. Hold on just a second. This might be our only opportunity for this right now. Can Aqua Jet knock this out? I think so. Karakos is so weak. But we made up for that Leaf Storm miss there. Which would have definitely... If not knocked him out, then put him in range for the jet. So that makes up for it. <laughs> it definitely makes up for it. I think we uh, I think we cop the W, maybe. Last month's weak to water. Chansey of Violet knocked off. Hoopa unbound. Likely not scarfed because he already has two scarfers on his team. So I think we just jet this thing here. 
for some good damage. He does Volt Switch out, which means that um, depending on what he goes into, we'll see. Uh, Chansey comes out here. We go into our Coco. Wild Charge, I think is the play. Knock this out. So we got to knock out the last three Mons. I think we can do it. I think we actually can win this game. Just with Scarf Coco. Yo, I think we can win this game. Because if he is Z-Celebrate and he celebrates, he's going to be celebrating for our victory. That's going to be the celebration. Because we're faster than uh, Z-Celebrate. Because of Choice Scarf. But it depends if the Hoopa... It depends, like, on the Hoopa and Bound, I think, really. Yeah, yeah, he goes Victini. Okay, I think we can just clean up here. So he's going to Z-Celebrate. Yep. And uh, <laughs> now we just Wild Charge again. Let me just say preliminary GG. GG. Victini wins. Watch me. Ready? Three, two, one. JK. <laughs> Yo, this man is this man is silent now. He knew. <laughs> I had to do it to him. I had to do it to him. I had to do it to him. That didn't matter because we were under electric terrain and Hoopa's defense is like 40 or something. He definitely won if that didn't happen. I could have won a lot of games if it didn't happen. Nah, I, I, oh, is he Scarf actually? Still might though? How does he still win? Exactly, because we're Scarfed. That's what I'm saying. GG. GG, my man. Good game. Ah, good sport, good sport. Hope you all enjoyed this game. Let me know what you guys think, of course. I think Caracosta put in some solid work as well. Just goofing around in the end there. Don't mind me. Did not mean to uh, offend anybody. But um, yeah, so that's going to be it. So next video should be another live, I think. Hopefully I'm going to try to uh, win the first round of playoffs, which should be coming up next week and next weekend, I, I think. So we'll see about that. But let me know what you guys think. Of course, always looking forward to hearing from you all. As always, if you have any suggestions for me to use any Pokemon, let me know, of course. And um, I will see you guys on the next video. Peace.